one of the things that I learned in, in studying the I am discourses uh, is that um, you can you can never know the way to to higher consciousness as long as you have judgment uh, criticism or condemnation towards any of God's cre creations mm -hmm. so it's getting rid of the judgment you know you look at all of these beautiful flowers out here and then you see a whole string and someone said to me well those that's just a whole field of weeds and I said I you know the difference the only difference between a flower and a weed is a judgment it's just a judgment and if you can get past judgment and just uh, the Beatles had it right. It's just let it be, you know, just let it be and just allow and be in a state of, of gratitude. I just went for a swim at your Y over here and came back and uh, got into the shower and it was a nice warm shower running over washing my bit and, and I constantly remind myself to stay in a state of gratitude just for the shower, you know, and it was all misty and kind of cool out there to, to appreciate the mist and when you're in the swimming pool to just appreciate your body being able to move through the, through the water and to stay in that state of gratitude and appreciation for everything, uh, whoever you encounter, even the things that you think shouldn't be coming your, your way, they're oftentimes the, the greatest gifts that you've ever had. You know, it's like I haven't had alcohol in my body for close to 30 years now. And those years of drinking and those years of uh, being out of control and the, 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 the painful things that we have back in our, in our early life. Uh, my years in an orphanage and so on. Those are the greatest teachers that have ever come mm -hmm. my way. You know, my father walked out on us, abandoned us, didn't have anything to do with any of us. And it turns out he was one of the greatest teachers that ever came into my life. I don't even know that in this universe that, uh, that he incarnated into this world to do one thing, and that is to behave like a jerk you know, towards, <laughs> towards all of us, so that I could get to a state in my life where I could end up at his grave. And uh, rather than being full of rage, forgiveness and forgiveness is like you know what Mark Twain often said that forgiveness is the fragrance that the violet sheds on the heel that has crushed it um, to be able to send love and I mean that's the message of all of the great spiritual masters that's what Jesus's message was you know just be an instrument of love just send love wherever you go and when you have that kind of divine love within you you know everything in your world just seems to change and things start to work for you because you're aligned finally with the source from which we all originated, which is God.